we do have some well Filipino players that are slowly starting to aspire to I mean try it overseas. So obviously, we have Kai Soto who's well skipped college and going to the G League and maybe thirty Ravenna. I don't know if you've heard it. he came from Ateneo. He's now playing in Japan. Yeah. But like, do you see that this could be a trend, or do you see that there's maybe more opportunities for Filipinos to be making that jump, maybe try out their luck in college? Because we've had. Well, Kobe Paras, but he didn't get much run. Uh, Japheth Aguilar in Western Kentucky. But uh, they, they've struggled so far. They haven't had too much success, quite frankly. So, I mean, yeah. what's it going to take, though, for maybe a Filipino to get that opportunity and maybe make an impact, especially at least in college ball over there? Yeah, you, I, I, the only one I don't know is the Western Kentucky guy. What was his name? Japheth Aguilar. He's, a, he's been there a bit. He's, he's been the national team. He still is there uh, for – up to now, yeah, he's a six eight athletic forward. Yeah, I think, I think Kai obviously is good. I think he's he's good. You know, um, I've seen a bunch of highlights. I've never seen him in person, but I saw Kobe Paros a lot. You know, in uh-huh. high school and growing up. The first thing is, is like I think as us as Filipinos, we want that we want us. You know, my my mom wants me to be in the NBA, the Lakers coach right now. You know, I'm like mom. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Let's be proud of where of UC Riverside. And let's try to make this good. Let's try to win here and 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 keep my job. You know, let, let, let me let, let me try to prove that I can coach first. And so I think what happens, you have to pick the right place. You know, like mm. Kobe had a uh, don't we're gonna we might have to cut this out if, if Paras is gonna get mad at me, but <laughs> he had athleticism and he had talent. He was very, very athletic. I remember seeing him as he was like 16, 17. Um and obviously UCLA would have been great, but maybe it wasn't the right level. So yep. he goes to he goes to no, he went to Creighton. Uh, Creighton, Creighton. Think, yeah. Sorry, Butler is where Christian David, the Canadian Filipino, is yeah. went, right? Yeah, but so yeah. he went he went to Creighton and that's and that's that's even higher level right now, that's even higher level than UCLA. I mean Creighton's yeah. <laughs> so you just have to pick the right place. Like it doesn't you gotta play. That's mm-hmm, how you get yeah. better. Like you have to play, you know, and then and then Kobe came in Northridge. I'm not sure what happened in Kobe's journey and story. Uh-huh. I'm not, obviously, I follow him and I root for him. You know, I root for all the Filipinos. You know, I want him. And Kai, so Kai, I think this is good because at least he'll be. I mean, I would love for Kai to be in the NCAA. I think Kai would be really do really well. You know, my coaching friends at the higher some of the higher levels always contact me and like I like they want my help with Kai and and um, and he would be good at the college level. Um, so this is uh, this is new, right? They've never done this G League thing. Yes. This is the first time that they're doing it. You know, Jalen Green, who's, I know you guys yeah. know he's part from, you know, he's doing it. And, and uh, so we'll see how it all turns out. But I I think there's definitely going to be more opportunities. It's just, but the, the other thing is you guys are fighting for him too. You want him at Ateneo. You want, right? Like for sure. It, it, your colleges are fighting for him. It, it's it's kind of like when I go to Germany and I recruit, which I've done, and we got like our player of the year at Columbia was a kid named Maudo Lo, who's who's – from Berlin, they want them too. You know what I mean? That's so. There's certain countries that are would love to keep their players there, and I think that's why I don't know. Do the Philippines? Do you guys want the players to come here in the college, or do you guys want to keep them there? That's and develop them there. That's that'll be the tricky thing. But if you do send them here, yeah, there's opportunities. There's tons of opportunities yeah. here. Because it, it seems like most of the players that have had some success in the NCAA that are now playing professionally here at least have, for most part, grown up, uh, grew up and lived there and, and played in the States basically all their life, whereas where they're making that jump. But I mean, just going back to Kai and maybe for those players that have now been deciding to skip that NCAA, that one year of the NCAA, because now there are more options for them to play overseas. I mean, we saw it with uh, LaMelo Ball too. I mean, what's the drawback though of playing professionally right away? I mean, this is just as a coach versus going to college ball, playing college ball first in, in the NCAA? Well, in the, in the culture here in America where you grow up, like everybody dreams and, and just like my parents, like everybody dreams of going to college. It's a four-year, you know, beautiful experience. Just for take, take sports out of it. Like everybody, every kid here in America dreams of going to college and enjoying that four-year experience at college and, you know, making friends and all that stuff then that's where you develop into a, into an adult, right? That's really where you, you learn how to cook some of your own food, make, do your own life. And like that, that to me is valuable. Like you, you start sending, you know, kids to professional. I mean, like you can, LaMelo is really a unique, unique example of it. Um, 
I don't know. I think there's always benefit of going to get your education and, and learning how to manage that along with, with, uh, it's just like being a professional. Like, like you're going to have like those responsibilities on the court, off the court, but then you're going to come on the court and, you, and, and you're going to have a, so I just, I don't know. I, I, I love college. I think it's a great place for guys to like develop and, and become an adult. Um, going to the pros, you're not, who's taking care of you? If you have your dad like LaMelo does and your family around you, yeah, that's good. But, like, who's taking care of you? Like, you really need somebody there with you. I'm, when I was 18, 19, phew, I mean, I was, <laughs> I was – I could barely take care. I still was driving home from college having my mom do, do my laundry and, and whatnot. So, some of these kids, like, are making decisions and are, and are playing in the NBA. You know, I have friends that – one of my best friends is an assistant coach with the Cavs, and he's got two really, really young ones in Colin Sexton and, and – and, and uh -huh. Darius Garland, and it's just, and he's got Clarkson there too, another Filipino. But he, th these guys are young, you know. He's like, man, I, I realize I have to communicate with them in a different way. They're always playing video games, you know what I mean? Like it's just a different gender. They're so young, and these guys are playing in the NBA, making millions, but they can't decide on, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's, it's nuts. So, you know, they, it's made the NBA a younger league, but it's, um, I've always, there's value. There's a huge value in going to college. And I think, I think, you know, I think it'll get back to that. Okay. Warning on coach Paulo Layud for delaying the game. Technical foul on coach Anton Altamirano for resentment to a call. Coach Charles Chu out of the playing courts. Coaches unfiltered. No reps, no techs.